Today I am going to show you how to make this animation. So let's open DaVinci Resolve. I assume you have basic knowledge of DaVinci. So first of all, this is my project settings, I am using 24 frames per second for this tutorial. I am using an image of map and a PNG of an aeroplane. Let's start with creating a new fusion composition. Drag and drop it in the timeline and open it with fusion page. Add a black background node and connect to the media out. Now get the map image from the media pool. You can see the size of our map image is smaller than the resolution of our timeline. So we will connect our map image after our background node and change the size with the help of transform node. Now add the paint node from the toolbar. Select the polyline stroke tool and add two points. Add the first point where you want to start the animation of line. Add the second point at the ending of the line. In the inspector tab, go the brush control and you can change the style of brush like circular or square. You can also change its size. You can make the line curve by clicking on this dot and by selecting this little yellow dot, you can move the handle upwards for the curved shape of the line. Use Ctrl plus Z to undo if you accidentally added another extra point. Now go to Stroke Control and then increase the spacing to make this a dotted line. You have option to change the shape of dots to square. I have tried this but it is not working properly because of the curved shape of the line. For now keep it circular dot, I will show you another way to make it using text node at the end of this video. Now let's animate this line. Go to frame 15 or the time where you want to start animation. Add a keyframe on the right on option and decrease the end value to 0. Go to frame 75 and increase the value to 100. You can see the animation. For adding drop shadow to this line, firstly disconnect the paint node, get a background node and connect it to the paint node, and decrease the alpha value of background to zero. Now you can add drop shadow to this line. Change the location and strength of the shadow as you want. Now reconnect it to the pipeline. You can also add soft glow effect to the line if you want to. Now let's add location marks. You can use image of location marks but I am making it myself in Fusion. So let's grab a background node and add ellipse mask to it. Make it small. Add another ellipse mask. Its size should be bigger than the first one. 
Now select the first ellipse node and change its paint mode to subtract. You will see little hole in the circle and you can adjust it as you want. Now add a polygon to the second ellipse node. And draw a triangle. A triangle. You can adjust each point for better shape. You can see we have a good location mark. Now add this to the pipeline. You can select the background node and change its color. Now add a transform node to make this location symbol smaller. And you can also place this mark to the starting position of the line. Now select the merge node and add go to the frame 15 then add keyframe on the blend option to show this mark only when the line starts moving. I just keyframe the blend to 0 on the frame 14, keyframe the blend to 1 at the frame 15. Now add the location symbol at the ending point on the frame 75. Just add another transform node and add the output of this background node to the input of the transform node, connect it to the pipeline. Change the location of the second symbol to the ending point of the animated line. Now animate it to appear on at the frame 75. Just select the merge node and add keyframe on the blend option. Make it 0 at the frame 74 and 1 at the frame 75. Now add the aeroplane image from the media pool. Add to the pipeline, change its size and location. Add keyframes on the X and Y axis on the 15th frame and the 75th frame and change the position at the 75th frame to the ending point of the line. Click on this little yellow dot to change the curve of the line as we did earlier with the curve of the dotted line. You can also animate the rotation of the aeroplane by adding keyframes on the angle. Now select the merge node, animate the blend option to show the aeroplane only between the frame 15 and 75, just like the location marks we animated before this. Now let's add the zoom effect in the edit page. Go to the starting of the clip and add keyframes of all the parameters of the transform option by clicking on this dot. 
Now got to the frame where the animation of the line starts, in my case it's on the 15th frame. And add keyframe on all parameters. Now use the zoom and the position options to focus at the starting point of the aeroplane. And decrease the value of your to around minus 0.340 to make it more professional looking zoom. Now go to the frame which is the ending of the plane animation. Add keyframe on all parameters of transform. Adjust the position to show the ending point of the aeroplane. Now go to the last frame of the clip and add keyframe on all. Double click on the zoom, position and your to reset it to its default value. You can adjust the position if your plane is not showing fully in the screen. Now go to Fusion to add to clouds in the starting and ending of Firstly add a fast noise Change its settings for better look You can note and use these settings Now we will add zoom effect to the clouds. For this add the keyframes on the very first and the last frame having scale value of around 5.25. Also add keyframes on the frame 15 and the frame 90, and decrease its scale value to 2. Now in the merge node, make fade out and fade in effect by animating its blend option. Just animate the value of blend to 1 at the very first and the last frame. And decrease the value of the blend to 0 at frame 15 and the 90. This will show the clouds only for the first 15 frames and after the frame 90. You can also add some text. It is very easy. I will not show this because this video is becoming too long. Now if you wanted to make this line with square of rectangular dots. It can be done with the help of text node. I am turning of this merge node to remove this line. Now add text node. and type the minus sign about 20 or 30 times as per the length of the dotted line. Go to the layout section and change it type from the point to the path. Now add two points where you want the starting and ending of the line. Line is shorter. You can type more minus sign Now using these yellow dots you can move the handles to make a curved line. You can add drop shadow and glow effect on it.
and you can also animate its timing using the right on parameter given within the text node. Just like we animated in the paint node. So this is the final result. Thanks for watching.